Mr. says government must put before Parliament the gold for all agreements for scrutiny and approval since the deal is an international financial transaction. Responding to a question at the forum attended by members of the UK Ireland chapter of the NDC, the former president cited the Sino Hydro Agreement, of which the country's bauxite is exchanged for infrastructure development by China, as a classic example of butter trade. Now, he explained that if the Sino Hydro Agreement was a butter deal and went to Parliament for approval be because it is an international financial transaction, why not the current deal in which Ghana's gold is being exchanged for oil? The former president noted that the deal is currently shrouded in complete secrecy with only government officials who are involved in the transaction knowing the details, describing the development as unacceptable. Already, government has brought in about 40,000 metric tons of fuel under the gold for oil policy, which seeks to source cheaper fuel in exchange for gold.